Good evening. Good evening, Michelle Arminio, 9 Nathaniel Street. I, I feel I have to continue to address the Open Public Meetings Act, the Open Public Records Act, and the policy that you're discussing this evening. Um, over the years, government entities, not just this Board of Education, um, but government entities throughout the state have tried to eliminate, dismiss, and uh, degrade public participation and the, uh, the need for the public to know what's going on in their government. If, if this is a democracy for the people, the people need to know what is happening behind closed doors. And unfortunately, school boards, because I, I spoke at the, se uh, at the Senate legislative in 2017, and our own Linda Greenstein abstained from the vote, but it was a vote to improve the Open Public Meetings Act and the Open Public uh, uh, Records Act. And unfortunately, the Democratic uh, legislature did not vote to push it through. And now we have a legislator that's actually trying to change it in a very, very negative way. And there was a poll recently in New Jersey that 81% of New Jersey people polled do not want to see the Open Public Meetings Act and the Open Public Records Act diminished in any way. Why? Because that's how we look at what our government is doing. And if we're participation, uh, participants in a democracy, we need to be informed as to what's going on. And if we, uh, you know, New Jersey is a big joke about how much corruption there is. Well, if we don't know what our government officials are doing, there's going to be more corruption than we already have. So, New Jersey school boards, the Clerks Association, the New Jersey Clerks Association, and the League of Municipalities. If you think about those organizations, and I'm, I'm ashamed that New Jersey school boards is part of that, but if you think about the other two uh, entities, government entities, you see why they don't want the Open Public Meetings Act and the Open Public Records Act to succeed, because they want to hide behind closed doors and be bosses and uh, really not seek democracy. So I urge this uh, board to continue because yes, it took years to open up the transparency in Monroe to the state that it is and I think in the last few years it has been uh, diminished and I've said it often enough but I want to reiterate it, the only way that we keep corruption out of our system is, to sun uh, is sunshine and keep the sunshine going and I would recommend that everybody, and I think you can vote no for this, res, uh, for this policy and still take it back to the policy committee ne next, t next month. You can vote no and it comes, it's the same thing as voting yes and talking about it again. Just bring it up again. The policy committee, can, you can vote no on it tonight and the policy committee can go through it again with the recommendations and the discussion that you've had. And I would just, I would encourage uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because we're going to get new board members that may have a say in it. So I thank you very much. And there is nothing more important than public participation and our democracy. Thank you. Thank you. And for our, since I have a few <laughs> seconds left, what are we teaching our children if we don't teach them to participate in a fair and open manner and know what their government is doing because they're going to be the, they're our government in the future. And we need to know that they have the respect of the public and that we are, we want them to be free. Thank you. Thank you.